Do you know where your drinking water has been? Today, I'm going to talk to you about groundwater, and I'm going to use this groundwater model that's in front of me to explain to you about groundwater in our wells. This half of the groundwater is a non-karst area. This half of the groundwater model is karst. Karst is an area with springs, sinkholes, sinking streams, and caves. And in fact, today, I am standing here um, in front of Elk River Spring, where the water is coming out of the ground to form this, this river that we're standing beside. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you this non-karst area of groundwater. And groundwater is the water that we use that's stored under the ground. And I'm going to put this part of the model in and I'm going to actually be pumping well, like you would be pumping well water into your house. And some of us have wells at our house. Some of us use wells with our municipal water supplies come from groundwater. So this is an important concept for everybody. So now you can see how we're pumping clean water through our well. And we have this little spot here where it says point source pollution. Point source pollution, is it could be a spill on a highway or it could be an outfall from a factory or a treatment plant where water all comes out of one place with pollution in it. So I'm going to put some of this colored water to show the effects of pollution in here. And we're just going to watch how long that that takes to get down into our environment. And as we pump on this well, we can see that that pollution is slowly getting down. And this gives you some idea when you have pollution on why people don't see that pollution right away. And you can kind of see in the front where the, the pollution has been drawn down by the pumping of the water. Oh, it looks like that pollution has gotten down to the well. And you can see in my pumping flask here that this has turned a little bit pink. So this pollution is starting to come up in my well. And this is why we have to be so careful with what we do on the surface because it does go down and affect our groundwater. And I want you to remember how long that took for the pollution to get from the surface all the way down to the well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change over to the karst model side here. And you can tell that we have big open pipes like or conduits they're called in the rock that goes down in the karst side of our model. And what I'm going to do is put pollution into our sinkhole. This is showing what a natural sinkhole is like and watch how fast that that pollution gets all the way down to where your well is in the bottom of this car system. And this tube is already green. I didn't have to take a very long time at all to pump. This is the main impact in cars that everybody has to be aware of. What you do on your surface and in your surface water is gonna really affect your groundwater and your drinking water, especially if it's your well. So what you put into your sinkhole, like. We have our little cow we can put into our sinkhole. And the rain comes down through your sinkhole and gets straight down into your groundwater. That's not to say that it's any more important to keep things clean. It's still important in non-cars and cars to always try to take care of our drinking water supplies. But in cars, it happens so fast. What we put on the surface or into our sinkholes that runs into our car system just happens really fast. So I hope this groundwater model has explained groundwater to you and has shown where your drinking water might have been.